What is going on guys? It is your motivation guy. Man, that's right. Your friend. Come on, say it with me. The one and only Keith Allen. You know, a couple weeks ago, I don't actually I don't know how long ago it was ago, but someone called me a wannabe influencer. A wannabe influencer. Like what? You know, I realized like it really doesn't matter if you have five followers or you have a hundred million followers. You're influencing people every single day. Like, what is a wannabe influencer? If you influence one person for the rest of your life, you're an influencer. You just influence somebody, so you're an influencer, right? And so, I want you guys to know, man, don't don't be discouraged about you know how many followers you have or you know how many people are subbed to your channel, man. You're making an impact on somebody or on someone, okay? So keep going, man. Even if you walk down the street and you smile at somebody, you just made an impression, you know, on them. You know, like whatever it is, and you're, and it doesn't have to be big or small. You're influencing folks, so keep going. So if you don't already know, you know, with the second season, Fortnite Chapter Two, you know, with uh, you know the mythic weapons, uh, increased mobility, heavy snipers, really all make it a viable strategy to W key. And so in today's video, we're going to be you know giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to W key, and we're going to be looking at who I believe is like one of the best W keyers in the world. So for our question of the day, who is your favorite W key player like right now? For me, I have to say it's AV, and you're gonna know why in this video. So stay tuned for more. All right, guys, it's about that time. Uh oh, what in the world? It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Come on, man, Smokey, you already know what it is. It is that bunch of crunch. Oh my God. And one more thing, if you're looking to improve at Fortnite and possibly reach a pro level, check out our website, ProGuides.com, where we have 24-7 coaching from top pros to help you guys reach that next level, along with courses and guides from some fan-favorite pros like Mongrel, Benji, and Lechi. No matter what you're looking to improve on, ProGuides has you covered. And with all that being said, let's start by discussing, guys, when you should and you shouldn't W key, because this is a mistake far too many players make. You know, it's no secret that the best W keyers tend to rack up insane amounts of points in tournaments, and it's natural to want to do that as well. But some people push it like way too far and make a number of mistakes that result in their W key games ending up as some of their most embarrassing losses. You know, the first common mistake is pushing too early. You know, even if you're playing a W key game, you shouldn't be landing where 20 other players are or taking a straight up 50-50 spawn fight. You know, what a lot of pros do is land at their normal drop spots and then they try to loot up and just rotate out as far as possible and start their W king from there. This allows them to guarantee that, you know, they're gonna have good uncontested loot so they can just roll through the mid and late game with ease, you know, just drop an insane amount of kills. The second mistake is pushing when the storm is far or has already overtaken you so you know the best option here is to just disengage and rotate instead of just wasting time in a storm at a stalemate with your opponents before you decide to push or get into a fight make sure you have a decent zone and be sure to check it constantly so you know when it's just time to pack your bags and save your fights for later okay so the third mistake my friends and one that impacts a lot of players is w king but taking too long to fight okay so think of every second when you fight to be like a clock which increases the odds of the third party each and every second okay so when you w key it's absolutely necessary to just get the jump on your opponents and just you know get get out as quick as possible you know you're going to see pros like unknown army and scope always looking for you know pre-fight damage then instantly pushing up super fast so they can not only just get more kills in less time but also minimize the odds of a third party coming along potentially ending their entire game so you know when you w key always make sure that you're the one sneaking up on your opponent and then end the fight as soon as possible by applying constant pressure and controlling the fight. All right, so finally, our last mistake is W King too late into the game. Oh mate, oh my God. I need help, bro, I need help. You blocked me, oh, oh no, no. All right, this is especially true in tournaments when the second or third zone has come in and you know players are all over the place looking to third party. The most optimal time to push fights is in the first zone or possibly the second, depending on you know if your lobby is stacked or not. If you're pushing people later than that, you might be in trouble. Next up, we're gonna be talking about why W King is such a good strategy in this meta. Okay, so as you know, you know, the mythic weapons are some of the most overpowered items Fortnite has ever seen. You know, the mythic drum gun, the mini gun, the boombo, scar, and heavy AR are all insanely strong, and the grappler allows for insanely fast movement. 
Okay, so with these insane weapons all over the place now, the need for strong loot is so much more important than previous seasons. And to get good loot, you're going to need to fight. Whether it's by third partying or just fighting off spawn for a good POI or anything else, you're going to need to win a few battles just to make it to the end game with a good chance of winning. Okay, so another point for the W key meta is that to be at the top in these tournaments, like the daily dual cups, FNCS, you know, and solo cash cups, you have to fight. It's really that simple. Almost every top team lands at a large POI or a mythic spot, right? Clears out the area, gets the insane loot, and then just goes on to W key and get a bunch of kills before in game. To keep up with these players, oh my goodness, it's like absolutely crucial to sharpen your W key skills and start getting into more fights in game. You know, I like to go over one more thing before we really get into the analysis section of this video, and that's dual W King. As you might already know, you know, like teams like Scoped and Tifu, you know, and Chapped and AV are all some of the best W Keyers in the game, and that largely helps them in placing at the top almost every single time. All right, guys, so in duels, if you're trying to maximize your points, it's good to consider landing at either a mythic POI or landing at a large POI with a lot of loot. You know, being able to get kills in early and mid game is important, and that importance is multiplied when you're in a team playlist. And the mythic weapons will allow you to do so much more and dominate fights so much more easier than simply just having a good, you know, just normal loot will. Okay, so when you WK as a duo, try to sneak up on your opponents and do a countdown spray. This is basically where you're able to sneak up behind your opponents, both lock your crosshair on one player, and then count down to three, two, one, and just start spraying at the same player. All right, so this is gonna allow you to heavily damage or even knock one player, making the fight much more manageable, right? Okay, so if you're not able to count down spray, make sure you're always the aggressors in your fights. You know, in the majority of fights, man, the team who pushes high ground first or gets early shots is the team who ends up on top. The next tip for Duo W King is to never push down alone. Usually if you get high ground, your opponents are going to be playing in the same box. So make sure the coordination is there and that one player in the duel doesn't push down alone or it's going to be an easy 1v2 for the other team. Okay, so instead, you know, either have both players drop down and push together or just stay above the enemy team together and just put on pressure from above. And the final W King tip, ladies and gentlemen, and one that is important in both solos, duels, and other playlists is not be afraid to disengage. Yeah, I said it. In the majority of fights, you know, even ones where you're in total shambles, you know, disengaging is an option, right? You know, you see it all the time in pro lobbies and it honestly works in lower lobbies as well. Always be open to the option of disengaging because it might save your game. All right, guys, so now that we've gone over some general tips for W King, we're going to be looking at a game from AV, one of the best W keyers in the entire world right now. As an introduction, AV is the duo of Liquid Chap, one of the OG Fortnite legends, all right? And this is for good reason. AV is a controller player who consistently places at the top in cups, especially in solos, where his W King knowledge, solid game sense, you know, insane mechanics, and his aim assist all come together to form a beast that you do not want to run into. To all my controller squads out there, yo, sorry about the aim assist part, but you know it's true. In this analysis, we're going to be mostly looking at what AV does in fights instead of looking at the big picture like rotations. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, so starting off this game, AV decides to land at Misty Meadows for this bus route. The great thing here, and I mean like right here, is that Misty is just in the middle of the bus route, right? So it's going to be contested for sure, but not too heavily where it is all just a, you know, 50-50. When you play Cuffs and you want to get a lot of kills, feel free to land at a contested spot, all right? But don't land at a super hot drop where it basically is a rare to get a gun. Okay, so AV lands straight on this, you know, great pump, and he goes to grab a chest, getting a blue tack, and up to the roof, getting a blue AR. He quickly runs up to this other rooftop, getting some minis from the chest, so he's about to get some kills, right? Note how instead of pushing super early or going for a 50-50, AV takes the time to just get kitted up and ensures that he has materials. You know, he has shield, and now he has loot before getting into any fights. Even though he did get a really good weapon, a blue tack, off start, you know, he decided to wait and just loot up for some more. So after looting this solid chunk of area, he decides he's ready to get some kills. All right, so he quickly pushes up to this building where he hears a player and pushes in. But uh-oh, he gets pumped with an absolutely stinky shot right here. So he decides to back off for the moment. So he moves over to the other building. Then he finds a bandage bazooka to heal up with. 
All right, so note even AV here. You know, one of the best W Kears isn't afraid to take a step back instead of just taking a bad fight. And this could have easily been the reason he survived the situation. Okay, so here's an example of what not to do in this situation. AV is like relatively low on health with no extra shields and only 25, but he decides to push this player. You know, that's all fine and all that, but uh, you know, until he gets a bit too close for comfort, you know, and then the other player hits a lucky one tap. All right, so look, now to be fair, you know, AV did get you know pretty unlucky with his tack damage and probably should have been able to kill that player so easily but the point still stands that he pushed in a pretty poor situation but we don't want to end the analysis that abruptly on such a bad note so let's just take a few more fights from a game he did pretty well in all right so in this game which was like one right after that one av decides once again to land in misty meadows where it's a medium temperature drop not too cold you know not too high just right av gets a nice drop to this smg and catches this player with his pants down ha <laughs> get him all right so this was a pretty good example of situational awareness man like av saw that this player had an early drop so he grabbed the smg and he quickly went inside for a right hand peek to clear up this player like right away always make sure guys like you're aware of your surroundings right and looking for players with bad drops just like this guy so you can get these easy kills hope you got that all right so moving on av leaves this building after healing and he catches this player off guard with a quick tack shot the player starts you know cranking for height and av knows that if he turns this into a build fight it's gonna last like a really long time and he might end up just being third party so instead he sprays the opponent down and he finishes him off easy all right sometimes you know there's an easy way just like that to save materials by you know breaking someone down using the insides of buildings the box fight and you know just other things like that it's really up to you to just spot them out all right so we're gonna be skipping ahead a bit here to av seventh kill of the game before this fight even begins let's do a push check all right materials almost 1000 check loot amazing check health 167 which is pretty good and he has extra shields if they're needed so we'll give him a check too and the zone is also pretty good i mean it's first zone and they're on the edge which means the odds of a third party are pretty low so overall this is a fine fight to take all right so that being said av rolls up and tries to catch the player off guard unfortunately the player catches him and nobody gets damaged off however av is confident in his skills and he knows he can beat this player with his insane loot so he's fine continuing the fight AB does a nice little high ground retake right here. He gets height and he immediately whips out the SMG to get some chip damage and put on some pressure. His opponent essentially panic builds into this tree, getting one tag on AB, but AB makes a really good play towards the end here. Instead of just cranking up for height, he knows his opponent is confused and is not going to spot him. So he stays down and he catches his opponent with a few quick tack shots from the bat. This not only allows AB to get a good angle here, but it also allows him to save his materials. You know, in a lot of these situations, guys, it's really fine to just avoid using too many materials man and av is really a master of saving materials so you guys got to try to implement some of this into your game for sure it'll definitely help but don't go overboard and like use literally zero i mean really you just got to be smart you know about how much you build and always just be aware when your materials are low and also just know how to save some during fights to avoid running all out Overall, AV's gameplay is amazing and he really helps show and emphasize some of the things we've discussed in this video. Follow the advice in this video guys to get better at W King and find more success in tournaments and arena in the future. Alright guys, once again this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to connect with me at your motivation guy. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We got so much more coming out right now man. So you guys stay strong. And uh, we'll see you soon.